Okay, so so White resigned and, and so forth. All right. Okay, this is the most interesting for me was this game of Andrew Tang's. His opponent was slightly higher rated than him. And in, in this position, White blundered. And then three moves later, Black blundered. But I don't blame Black for not playing the winning move. And I barely blame White. I don't really blame either one of them. And White played a move that's sort of obvious because if White moves his king, he was probably worried about queen takes a2. And the engine says, don't worry about it. Queen e5 check is still a draw. But, you know, why give a pawn away when you don't have to? So he should just move his king and it's equal. But not seeing the queen e5 check fully equalizes because you're down a pawn, I understand that. And he either miscalculated or missed what Tang did, and Tang also missed it. So he played queen e4, which actually loses, surprisingly. And not only is it surprising, if you don't have a strong enough engine, uh, you won't know that it loses. The engine has to be um, very high... Uh, depth to see that black's winning and it should be a good engine um now first of all if i had white here knowing me i'd probably miss my opponent's next move but even if i did see it i wouldn't suspect that i was losing um i'd suspect i might be losing but i would think probably not and queen e4 is actually a losing move. Yeah. Amazing. So the, the truth hurts. That's right. You scary. I think some, some noise happened. Pinky Jim gifted a sub. Oh, yeah, one cent to do. Conor McGregor's leg, yeah. All right. So, yeah, this is very instructive. So I didn't like it. The, if I want to see something very instructive, I'll watch Tombstone. Okay, so black played rook e8, which is correct. It's technically correct, so it's the most correct. You can't take the rook because it's illegal, which wouldn't stop some kids. So you have to take the queen, and then check. You have to attack the rook. Take, take. In this position, black's winning, but he only has one winning move, and he didn't play it. And when I was looking at the game while it was being played, uh, and the engine said this move was winning. I was trying to think why, and then I figured out why. Uh, if I was playing in a slow tournament, I don't think I would ever play this move. I don't think I would. And I think if somebody told me black to play and win, I still don't think I would play the move. So, I mean, now I would because I know the answer, but before that. And again, your engine has to be pretty good to find it. And so forth. Uh, let's see. Kevin Hart, 51, subscribed. Hooray. That's even better than when Dave Chappelle subscribes. Yeah. <clears throat> and so forth. <clears throat> now... These things are too complicated for, you know, players who are not super GMs um, even to explain to you. Of course, you all have your engines going and you're like, is it this? Because your engine says it is. One guy said, aren't there two winning moves? Because the engine says two moves give a big plus. That's funny. <laughs> uh, all right. But anyway, you have to understand why the move is winning. So even if you're using your engine, which you are, you don't understand why this move is winning and why other moves aren't. So I'll try to explain it to you. Yeah. And so forth. All right. Now, what a lot of you do, basically every move of your lives, is you play with general principles 
and never calculate because you think calculating is too hard, which, you know, it might be. And, you know, you just don't want to. You're lazy. Um, now, here, you have to have a deep understanding of what's happening plus calculate. And since you don't have either one, you, you know, you can't solve it. So, in this position, since both sides can get a passed pawn where they have the pawn majority, you would assume black gets a passed pawn, white gets a passed pawn, and the game ends in a draw, and that's what happened. Although, it was really exciting what happened. There were like 50 passed pawns. Okay, but, but I digress. Now, there's no way white can stop black from getting a passed pawn. F5 does the job immediately. And you can't stop it. And what you need to do is do something weird with black. <laughs> okay. So the way white gets passed pawn is white either plays A4, and then when you take it, he plays c4 and gets a pass d pawn. Probably would preface that with king d3, either now or later. Or white can play b3, c4, and get a passed pawn that way. Okay. And it turns out black can not necessarily prevent that, but black can do something very weird, which makes that lose. And I, I don't blame him at all for for not seeing it, okay? So what black needs to do is prevent white from doing that. So the winning move is a4. It's possible that king f8 also wins. That's not a move I would ever consider, okay? Now a4 obviously stops white from playing a4 because that's the end of that. And, and also c4 is no good. So white can either lose slowly by... Black has three to two and just gets a pass pawn and wins. Or white can say, well, I have four to three, so I need to get a pass pawn also. So he plays, let's say, B3, the obvious move. And now the point of A4 is to play A3. And the long-term idea is we're going to give white two pass center pawns and we're going to have pass pawns on both sides. Easy to understand if you're a super grandmaster, but if you're not, then you're furrowing your brow in a vain attempt to understand what I'm talking about. So let me give you an example of just like normal boring play. Here to play c4, and now um, the engine says king f8, which again I would, I understand why you play king f8 now, but okay. And now, eventually, black's going to win with his extra pawn on the king's side. And if white plays c4 and says, what's the big deal? What, why isn't white winning? After takes, takes, you play b4. Okay. And the idea is, this is going to be a passed pawn, or white's going to prevent it, and then black's going to do this. And white's king can't stop b3 and f1, Whereas Black's king can easily stop the two pawns because you know, the king just walks in front of him. Well, b3 wins immediately. So king c2 is the only move. And then f5 and, and so forth. And if your king ever tries to stop it, b3 wins. These pawns aren't dangerous because the black king you know, easily stops them. So I understand not seeing that um, idea. And... You don't want to move your king up when white's getting these passed pawns. You want your king to stop them. And you want to be able to pretend like you're getting a passed pawn also. Now, white doesn't have to play b3 and let black play a3 and so forth. But if he doesn't, white doesn't have counterplay. Black just has three to two and wins. You know, just moves his pawns and moves his king and black's a pawn up. And if white uses his extra pawn to get a passed pawn, unfortunately, this a4 and then takes and b4 always wins, which is weird, but that's the way it is. And Andrew Tang didn't see or understand that, and I perfectly understand that. I'm guessing 
if somebody in the top 10 in the world was black, maybe they would play A4. Maybe. 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 I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, well, when you say amazing concept by Tang, he, he didn't see any of that. So, <laughs> it's an amazing concept, just not by Tang. Now, luckily, Tang didn't do that because I showed you anyway, but the actual game was crazy like Fox News. And it wasn't badly played. It was just crazy. Like, it's more exciting than that. So, Tang, uh, he, he played F5. And after takes, he played G5, which is very understandable. And the reason it's understandable is black wants the past pawn as far, you know, that way as possible. So white can't get his king over to the queen side. And so you can't save your F pawn. You can't play king here, king here, because after king here, I can play H5. And I'm going to win your pawn anyway. I want to get a passed pawn over here, and while your king is getting it, then I walk in and win. So I understand g5. Good move. Okay. And then white tried to get his passed pawn, you know, over there. And now black doesn't have the time to win with this, the same as, as he did before, um, because white has a passed pawn, not black because of what's already transpired. So this would win if black had a passed F pawn, but the engine says this does not win now. Um, I play king c2, and if you try to queen, white has a passed pawn here and a passed pawn here. So the engine says it's a draw because it's looking 40 moves ahead. Okay. So after king d3, he played h5, and he played a4, which is excellent. Good move. You have to take on a4, otherwise white gets a queen. c4, excellent. And the engine says all moves draw, but that's because the engine sees like 40 moves ahead. If you don't see 40 moves ahead and you're actually playing the game, you know, you're like, I don't know. You calculate as well as you can and you hope that you're right. And the players played well. Okay, dc4 is fine. King c4 is forced. g4... Now, it's obvious black is going to queen because, uh, I mean, if it's black's movie queens and if white plays the obvious hg4, which he did, now after h4, black queens. If black takes this, my king can stop the pawn. After h4, my king cannot stop the pawn. Um, now, now, taking this also draws... It's also a draw. This is the only drawing move. Then here. Then this is the only drawing move. Then here. And then you have to move your king somewhere. Takes, takes, here. King f2, here, here. And he's, he's just, just in time to draw. Okay. The good player is always lucky. Okay, so Andrew played h4. Now, I guarantee black's going to queen... So white has to queen also. So white played d5. Now obviously, if both sides just move their pawns, black queens and white queens. And white's not going to lose. White has two connected pass pawns. It's a draw, but white's not going to lose. Okay, so black plays king over, and he says, well, that pawn's not going to queen, and that pawn is going to queen, so maybe I can win. In this position... White has one move that doesn't lose. Can anybody find it other than the guy who had white? Who did find it? Delicious. If you don't like the lighting, or you don't like my stream, or you don't like the games, you're not forced to watch the stream. You can watch something else. You can take a nap. You can go eat. You don't have to watch my stream. It's not required by law. I mean, it should be. So if you don't like this stream, don't watch it. Then, then, then you don't have to complain anymore. 
I mean, like, let's say you don't like Seinfeld, you know, you have brain damage or something, and you're like, I don't like Seinfeld. Don't watch it. Let's say you like Two Broke Girls because you have extensive brain damage. And you're like, I like Two Broke Girls. Go watch Two Broke Girls, but don't tell anybody because you won't have any friends anymore. And they might put you away for having, you know, mental problems. So you don't have to talk about what you like and don't like in the stream. You can keep that to yourself. Good job. All right. Hopefully you don't like Two Broke Girls. Bowler CSGO subscribed. Good, good. Excellent. Yeah. Da -da. Uh, yeah. I didn't say there were two winning moves. Some other guy said that. Okay, so always play F6. Now, after F6, white's threatening to win with D7. And then D8. So, for example, not only was F6 the only move that doesn't lose, black has one move that doesn't lose here. H2 actually loses because I go here, and then white white's winning. White's going to – white has forced checkmate. Even if it wasn't checkmate, he'd be winning. So after F6, black must play king E8. It's the only move that draws. Now here, white has two drawing moves. He could play f7 check or g5. They both draw. He played g5, h2. Now he has one move that draws, f7 check. You have to take it. And then g6 check. I think g6 is the only move that draws. Yeah, d7 loses. Yeah. Yeah, now one of the pawns is going to queen. So that's what happened. And black is slightly better because he's going to be up a pawn or two. This is actually quite funny. If you take this pawn, it's checkmate. But he didn't do that. He took this pawn. And here, obviously, if you lose this pawn, it's a draw. And this king doesn't have any shelter. So it's a pretty easy draw. I just kept checking him. Yeah, the king, the queen can't block. So there's, there's no blocking. You know, if you go here, I go here. You can never block with the queen. The queen's stuck here. So they in this position, they, they actually agreed to a draw. I mean, I wouldn't agree to a draw. I would go here and hope that my opponent checks me here, which also draws. But at least I have a chance to win now. The engine says I have no chance to win. I would think I have a chance to win. I think I would. And the engine is like, no, you don't. It says every check draws. Obviously, this check and this check don't draw because then I play this check. So you got to watch it. But it's still... But anyway, queen e4 check is an easier draw. Cause you just make sure the queen can never get in the way. So after Tang did not play a4 and played f5, the rest of the moves were fine. And the game ended in a draw as it should have. Yeah. Etc. d7, king e7, f6... Well, in your line, Max McCall, King D8, you wouldn't do that. You would, you'd take the pawn. That was a funny variation you give. I like that. Yeah, I forgot why you started it. Let's see. What did you give? It was funny what you said. Uh, D7, King E7, F6, check. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, you, you give this line and you gave here, but taking the pawn would, would win. <clears throat> so, yeah, that, that move you have to see. But it was still funny. And so forth. Anyway, it was good until it wasn't. So queen e4 was a losing move and Andrew missed a4 winning. And so forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, seeing the idea A4, B3, A3, C4, D, C, B, C, B4. I, who's going to see that? The engine will. Yeah. So that was pretty cool to, you know, that, that that exists. Only Peter can appreciate it, but you guys can pretend to appreciate it. 
Yeah, so in this position, yeah, A4 wins. But, uh, I mean, you, you have to see the idea that, you know, that you're, that you're playing, that you're playing D takes at B4. And then, and then you win. So you got to figure all that out beforehand. And, you know, it's, it's move, it's move 42, so they should have had more time. But still, it's, it's hard to believe after this, this, you go here and you give the guy two connected pass pawns, but. That's that's what you do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tang would be proud that I thought he found that. That's right. You, Tang would be like, "Wow, you thought I found that, Peter? Thanks." Yeah, exactly. 